The Immunolytics Mold Checkup is the do-it-yourself mold test with support from environmental experts. Let's walk you through the process of using your testing kit and sending your samples. We encourage you to watch this complete video before starting your testing. There are four basic steps to using your test kit. First, evaluating what needs to be tested. Second, sampling your rooms, cars, pets, and surfaces. Third, sealing and labeling samples and fourth, sending your samples for analysis. Before we start, let's get to know your mold test kit. Each Immunolytics mold test kit is customized and may vary slightly from what you see here. First, you'll notice the plates and swabs we use for sampling. Round mold test plates are used for sampling air and items with a tap test. Plates contain 90% water, so you may see condensation in them, but it won't affect testing results. Also, if you've ordered them, pencil size swabs are used for sampling suspected visible mold. Note that sampling plates have an expiration date, so be sure to use them before they expire. You'll also receive sealing stickers for plates and swabs. If you purchase a prepaid label for returning samples to the lab, it will be included as well. A lab ordering form also known as a chain of custody, is also included for sending samples back to Immunolytics Lab for analysis. Finally, foil envelopes where you'll place the sealed samples. It's important to keep everything sealed until you're ready to test. While sampling only takes about an hour, the preparation steps may take longer. Store your kit in a cool, dark place until you're ready to test. Simply keeping the mold kit closed and at room temperature works well. Step 1. Evaluating where to test. You'll need to prioritize where to test. Test areas that are known or suspected to have water leaks. Or test areas that cause health symptoms or adverse reactions. If you haven't had a moisture event, sample in the areas you spend the most time. Common areas to consider are bathrooms, basements, master bedroom, den or great room, your car, kitchen, children's bedroom, and office. Step two, how to sample rooms, cars, pets, and surfaces. We recommend registering your kit before you start sampling at immunolytics.com and clicking on register kit or visit immunolytics.com register. You'll be directed to create an account, if you don't have one already, and enter the kit ID on the outside of your box. Registering your kit will give you easy access to reports. Sampling Rooms When you sample a room, you'll use the mold testing plate. It's able to sample an area that's about 12 by 12 feet. If you have an extremely large room, you may consider using two mold plates. Before you sample rooms, keep windows closed for at least six hours prior to sampling. Turn on the central fan or heating and air conditioning system. Don't sweep or vacuum just before you sample. After this preparation, you'll be opening the mold plate and placing the bottom of the plate that contains the yellow auger on a flat surface to test for one hour. So, get a timer ready. Here are some specific instructions for different room types. For kitchens, a countertop toward the center of the room is ideal. Also ensure that the mold testing plate is at least two feet away from the wall. For a living room or similar location, choose a central area that best represents where you spend the most time, such as a side table, coffee table, or the top of a couch. When sampling a bathroom, Choose a countertop toward the center of the room. Ensure that the plate is at least two feet away from the wall. For bedrooms, again, choose a location where you spend the most time, like in the center of the bed or on a nightstand. Place the mold test plate on a paper towel or clean cloth to ensure others see it and dust won't accidentally be stirred up and sampled. During the one hour of testing, rooms can be used as normal during sampling. 
please keep children and pets away from the mold test plates. It is very tempting for little ones to touch or even lick the auger. However, rest assured that the auger is not harmful to children or pets. Sampling vehicles. To test your car or truck, you'll also use a mold testing plate. Before you sample, keep doors and windows closed for six hours. Then, during sampling, keep those closed as well, other than entering or exiting your vehicle. Enter the vehicle and place the mold testing plate on a paper towel on the front passenger seat or center console. Now, turn on your engine and let the air conditioner or heater blow for 30 minutes on recirculate, which is labeled max in some vehicles. Then turn off the car and let the plate sit for another 30 minutes. Sampling pets or soft surfaces. You'll be using a mold test plate to perform a tap test. First, wash and dry your hands thoroughly. Now, open the plate lid and hold it with your fingers extended so the yellow auger is facing toward the object. Now, choose four areas on the object that will be representative. Tap the plate once in each of these four areas. The yellow auger should not touch the object. This will force the mold spores into the air and onto the plate. Sampling visible mold. To test visible mold, you'll be using the sampling swab. Open the swab by twisting and pulling, and then swab the area until the swab is discolored. Cover as much of the swab as possible with the potential mold. Then return the sampling swab into its container. Step three, sealing and labeling samples. After the sampling is complete, go to your first plate and close it, adding two Immunolytics logo stickers per plate to ensure a good seal. Then, using the enclosed permanent marker, create a label with a unique name, date, and time of sampling, placing the label on the bottom of each plate. It's very important that the label is on the bottom of each plate, that is, the darker side with the auger. Repeat this sealing and labeling process immediately after closing each plate, as it will help prevent the samples from being confused. For each visible mold sample taken with a swab, apply a label to an area of the container where it's most visible. Each sample label is numbered, so do your best to keep the sample labels in sequence without skipping numbers. After you're done closing and labeling the samples, record your samples on the lab analysis form, matching the information from each respective color matched label. Step four, sending your samples for analysis. You're now ready to continue your mold checkup by sending your samples to the Immunolytics lab for analysis. Our lab will identify thousands of mold types and prepare a detailed report outlining possible symptoms. You also have the option of self-analysis to help you know if mold is present in your samples. Self-analysis is helpful when you're repeating a mold test and want to get fast results or deciding which samples to send to the lab. We'll cover sending to the lab first and then show you how to self-analyze your samples. First, ensure the lab processing form is completed fully and each sample on the form matches each sample label. Then place your samples in the foil envelope. Then place the foil envelope and your mold testing form into the mold testing kit box, together with some appropriate packing materials, and then affix the prepaid envelope or ship it yourself to the Immunolytics lab. The Immunolytics laboratory must receive your samples within 10 days of the sampling date. One note, if you're shipping the plates during months which the package could be exposed to freezing temperatures, keep the plates in a warm area for three days before you ship them. Complete directions can be found at immunolytics.com analysis. Now let's look at performing self-analysis. 
When you're only looking for the presence of mold, self-analysis of your samples is an option. Note that self-analysis only works for mold test plates and not for swab samples. Begin by following the same procedure in labeling your samples and placing them in the foil bag and store these in a warm, dark place, such as a kitchen cabinet or desk drawer, for five to seven days. Then, hold the mold plate up to a light and count the number of colonies growing on the mold test plate. The size of the colonies doesn't matter. If there's no mold growth, return them to the foil package and reanalyze after seven or eight days. If you see zero to four fungal colonies per area or room, it's within the normal range for sinus health. Five to eight total fungal colonies per room is a cause for concern. Illness is possible in individuals who are susceptible. Nine or greater total fungal colonies per room is hazardous and likely making an individual sick. If you count five or more colonies on a mold test plate, regardless of size, we recommend that you send those to the Immunolytics Laboratory for further analysis and consultation, as it could be severely affecting health. If you're sending samples for analysis that you didn't prepay for, you can purchase analysis on our website, or when we receive your plates at the laboratory, we'll contact you regarding payment. Within seven days after receiving your samples, the laboratory will send you a detailed report on what was found via email and also accessible at your account at immunolytics.com. After receiving your report, you're now ready for the final step in your mold checkup, a phone consultation with an environmental expert to review your lab results and make recommendations on what to do next, helping you navigate through the process to improve your indoor environment and your health. If you requested a consultation when you completed your lab analysis form, one of our environmental experts will contact you within three business days. If you did not request a consultation but would like one, please contact us and we'll get you scheduled. The Immunolytics Mold Checkup is the do-it-yourself mold test with support from environmental experts. We look forward to giving you peace of mind and a healthy future. For more information or to contact us, visit immunolytics.com. Immunolytics, answers for your health.